Hello and welcome to another DaddyJamesFilms.webs.com video tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to get your computer to start up a little bit more quickly. Please forgive my voice, I have a cold so my voice might not be all that good. Uh, but uh, the first trick I wanted to show you is this one. Uh, you will go to start and you can either type in msfig here or if you have the run command on here uh, you can do that too. Most time Vista, well Vista don't automatically come with one, you have to put one on there. Uh, but for right now we're just going to go ahead to the search area and type in uh, msconfig. And then from there what you need to do is go to to the boot tab and right here where it says advanced options you click on that and then you change you put a check here if it's not checked uh, on the number of processors and normally it's on one so you need to put it on two and then click OK then what you want to do you want to go to your startup area and you want to uncheck anything on here that you do not want to stop it start up with your computer as you can see I got a lot of st things started up with my computer but I have a lot of RAM memory in here so it doesn't really matter too much but uh, just uncheck some of the stuff that you don't want to start up with your computer if you want to find out what it is uh, the best way to find out what it is is type whatever it says on here and open up your web browser and Google it and you could probably find you could probably find out what it is and whether it's important or not but um, the best way to do this uh, instead of using uh, msconfig is get a program called Gar Glary's Utilities and I have a tutorial on that you can check that out uh, just look for it on my channel and okay basically what Glary would do uh, you will go into op optimize and approve and you will go to startup manager and what Glary and what's good about Glary is it'll let you know you know what program is needed and what program you really don't need it uh, the higher the red mark let's say this right here uh, the more likely you don't really need it uh, if it's all green uh, it's perfectly okay to, it, it doesn't really slow your computer down whenever it's starting but the more red on here the slower your startup time will be in other words and <clears throat> To find out more about it, what you do is you find a program and you you highlight it up here. Then you go down here and click on more information. And what that will do, it'll take you to the website and you'll see if there's any user reviews on that. And it'll let you know if it's safe to, you know, uh, take it off your startup or leave it on there and that's pretty much it uh, once you do that just hit apply uh, or click OK you don't a lot of times when it has apply and OK you really don't need to click both of them but I do it just in case uh, most time it's you just click OK you know, to take care of the problem and then it's going to ask you to restart your computer I'm not going to do that but uh, anyhow and once you restart your computer should start up a lot more faster you may notice the difference and again you may not but uh, with having both of your processors running, it'll help the computer to start up a lot more faster. Uh, like I said, this only works for a dual core processor. I'm not sure if the XP has it on there. I have to check that out later on my uh, XP machine. But uh, uh, if you do have XP, I don't see if XP has it. No, uh, one more thing too uh, that would also help speed up your computer as well is uh, to take uh, take off some of the extra stuff that you have on uh, as far as graphic wise goes uh, and to do that uh, what you would do is go to computer right click on computer go to properties uh, advanced system settings and make sure you are on the advanced tab and performance and in here on the performance, there's a lot of stuff that you could take off um, to help the computer run a little faster. Uh, my advice is that you're going to take them all off. You can do that. You can go see. You can click right here for adjust for best performance. But you want to leave, leave the, the last one, the last two, 
and skip one and then two more. Uh, you at least want to keep those on there. And the rest of them you can leave off, or you can just go ahead and start checking some more stuff that you'd like to have on there. Uh, but if you do that, that'll help your computer run a little bit more faster as well. But unfortunately, when you do do that, it does take some of the, you know, cooler or neat things that uh, Windows Vista has. It ends up taking all that off of there. Like the transparent windows and stuff like that. Uh, another thing, too, if you want to help keep your computer running faster, uh, is always do your defrags and stuff like that, especially if you have XP. Vista, I believe that, you know, it normally automatically does it on its own. Uh, but if you have a laptop or something like that, you need to go ahead and run your defrag because uh, most people, they don't leave their laptops on 24-7 uh, like a desktop computer. So uh, if you have a laptop and you're always turning it off and on because, you know, you don't use it as much and you're putting it up, um, make sure you run your defrag and that will help uh, speed up uh, your computer as well. Um, well, that's all I have for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. And thank you and have a nice day.